is up everyone, Ginger here. Um, I apologize for the lawnmower in the background. My dad is actually doing some lawn mowing. But while he does that, I'm going to do this video for you guys. I'm going to do like a bare minimum when creating or when coding HTML and CSS. Because some of you might not want to go through the whole process of installing new software and doing this and that. So I'm just gonna show you how to use the uh, programs you currently have in your Windows 7, Windows XP, your Windows operating system. First, really all you need is a text editor, so you could really just do Notepad, opened up over here, and you could start coding from there. You know, it's, it's you know, you just need to have to do a little bit more typing than you normally would with a text editor like Aptana Studio because Aptana Studio 3 will like I said in my web development series the Aptana Studio 3 will close your tags for you so like I said with bare minimum you can do it with notepad that's totally fine and then all you really have to do is let's actually open a new browser window here let's just go to Google for now and I'm going to actually save this after I make some code here. So, head, head, title. If you guys don't know what these are, you can refer to my web development tutorial series on my channel. And that that's includes three videos. The first video is the programs that I use, which isn't that necessary so if you want to just skip on to the second one which is where I get into the HTML tags which is where I explain these what I'm doing right now and go right ahead I will actually put an annotation for you so you can easily just link to it so um, title uh, let's just do testing bear title and then we're going to do body We're actually going to open up a div tag that has a style color of um, purple uh, text. So this is purple colored text. So then when I do that, I save it to wherever I want. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop real quick. Bare minimum uh, HTML coding, and you could also do this with CSS. You don't need any external script code, or any, or it is, it's not server side, so you can do you can do HTML and CSS. But what you can't do is PHP. With PHP, you have to have a server side system going on, either inside your inside your PC or on your own server on, on your website but um, you can't load PHP code within just a document you need to have it on some sort of system where it won't won't do its thing so bare minimum HTML coding and then you don't want it as text because if you load it in the browser as a text document it will show the code as is it won't read it as an HTML file so what you go is save as type uh, apparently it doesn't want me to do that so let's just do all files and then end as HTML let's see if that worked for us so yeah the um, HTML file was saved successfully so like I said what I did is I actually went in here and just did all types because save as type you don't want it to just save as a text document off the bat because I, I think if I were to do that I think I'm not going to test it right now but what I presume is that it's going to go bare minimum HTML coding dot HTML and then it's going to add the dot text txt and then it'll just save as a text document but if I go all files and save it as an HTML it won't do that like because it's not saving as a as that particular type so then I just hit save but then when you drag this to your browser either in a new tab or in the current tab doesn't really matter it will load as HTML text 
So there's that. Like I said, you could also do it with CSS, so I guess I'll just do a little bit here. I'll add this as a class, test, and then I'm just going to add a style type, text slash CSS, style, and then we're going to style the class of test, and color. And that will do the same thing. And just real quick, I forgot to add this into the video and I apologize, but I wanted to show you how to kind of search for things that you would like to learn how to do, or just go to your own source to learn there. One that I've gone to a lot is actually W3 Schools. They teach you HTML and CSS with complements of XML, JavaScript, PHP, and SQL. You can go here to really just start from the basics and go from there. You can also just do CSS tutorials here as well. So really anything you want to learn how to do, it will most likely show you it here. Or you can just search it like how to add an image on background. And then it will do that for you. There you go. W3Schools is like the main source for learning how to code all of these different languages. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a pretty short video. If you want me to make any more similar to these, or if you want me to elaborate on something, whether it be in graphic design, website design, website development, whatever it is, if you're having issues with a certain code, then I will make a video of it. So just uh, hit me up in the comment section below, direct message me, or hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at JKMGinger, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.